bench. And Baylor wins the tip. Bears basketball, Tweedy Carter control. We're in overtime here at the Old Spice Classic. Baylor and Iona. John Chambi, Fran Fraschilla with you here at the Milk House. It's been a good one tonight. Iona has now stayed in that zone. They went to the zone late in this game. Yep. John hits a big three. Lace Darius done one for eight from three. That was his first triple of the game. One thing about Lace Darius done, he does not lack for confidence. A shadow. Feet underneath. McFadden had it blocked. In and out. McFadden could not get it to go. Udo did a terrific job, John. He went right to the ceiling with his hands. He was going to make McFadden shoot over the top without fouling. Dunn, fadeaway three, and he's fouled. Dunn at the line, 83% free throw shooter. This is a guy that high arcing shot. He was the sixth man of the year in the Big 12 last year. As Huffman pulls down that board. A five point game here in overtime. Iona's used the three to stay in the game, 12 for 25. From beyond the three-point strike. They're switching on the pick and roll, and that's why you see Udo out on the point guard. Machado. Machado. Oh, soft touch. And Baylor leads by three. Here's the pressure. McFadden a steal. Smythe cutting. Shot blocked. Udo with a big swat. That is huge. Well, that's the guy that you talked about, John. He led the Big Ten as a sophomore. He's been actually just as effective offensively tonight. He's had a solid night. The double-double for Epe Udo. And his fourth double-double in six games. Huffman a big rebound. Nice job by Smythe. He came over and sealed off the basket. Forced a tough shot. The shadow out of control and a travel. It's a turnover. Baylor with the ball up three here in overtime. Iona with the pressure. Udo will give back to Tweedy Carter. It's good luxury to have a 6'10 guy who can handle the ball like Udo. Where do they go right here? Well, the, usually you go to Lace Darius, Dunn, or Udo. Looks like they're going to go to Dunn on an ISO. No pick and roll action. AC set the screen. Now Dunn off balance uses the window. AC. Oh, oh look at AC that catch. Then he gets it to go. Overband man. Pumps. Stretch as Iona is faced with a double digit deficit in the second half. And sent this thing to overtime. And you watch that long Baylor front line, and they're, they're adding Perry Jones next year. One of the top three, four players in the country. What a front line that's going to be a year from now with everybody returning. Yeah, ESPN Scout Sinks National Director of Recruiting Paul Biancardi says Jones the most talented player in the class. See, Great John, move by Machado yeah, right and, there. And it's because anytime you switch a big onto Machado, he's going to patiently wait to size up an opportunity to drive. Good decision by Jones right there. Scott Drew, I'm sure, would not have been happy with a jack three. Good job by Iona. They're really making it hard to get the ball inside. Trying to spin it home. Can't get his own miss. Puts it home. Wow. That's like a war drill in practice. That's a toughness rebound right there for Lace Darius Dunn. 17 for Dunn. Huffman jump hook. Rebound AC. And a five point game as we close in on a minute to go from the Milk House. Boy, the front line of Baylor has been dominant in the overtime. Jones, Udo, Quincy AC. Now, if you want a milk clock here, Scott Machado wants a five count. Six on the shot clock. Carter off the glass, so go to the line. But they also may be 0 and 2 after tonight in this game. Minnesota and Portland coming up at the conclusion. Jack three. The shot that's contested. They can still push it and attack the rim. You've got to make this a, a, a multi-possession game down the stretch. 
Baylor using a little pressure to slow down Machado. Good job. Back to the zone. Good coaching decision right there. Oh my goodness, Huffman from way deep. Udo the rebound. And I'm not sure you needed that. You, you're much, it's a higher per double double. 13 points for. You get the, what I'm talking the, about, the Freddy Krueger. Almost a trip there. Who's the night? Was it Christian Nakoya? He Played was indeed the Nigerian Knight. Kansas Knight. City Chiefs. Pass deflected. Smite. And now you just gotta gamble that you're gonna make some. He's gonna be your your rotation or how you want to play or what defenses to use. But while you're experimenting, John, you'd like to win some games too. <laughs> <laughs> Baylor by ten. Make them drive. No threes, make them drive. Smythe, Jenkins with the kick out three. And Smythe fouled underneath. It will be Minnesota and Portland. Creighton for seventh play, so good Creighton team. And that'll do it from here, 72-62 to 62 the final, and a good win for Scott Drew.